get more music. Again, I'm going to chill that out. More substantial. Okay, look at that front end. Even super blocky. Very vertical with the cascading lights now. Okay. All right. Where we got some hooks up front. Look at that. I don't remember that being on the old one. Cruise is very close to my heart. I like it. Was it was the first project that like our California it. studio took all the way from sketch to tooling. It's one of the boldest models in our lineup, a testament to Hyundai's commitment to innovation, versatility, and style. We originally designed Santa Cruz to thrive in the urban environment while always encouraging an escape to the outdoors. When we got the chance to refresh the design, we wanted to take this spirit one step further. Where the original Santa Cruz face was sleek and refined, the new design is bold and robust. The vertical architecture of the fascia is the foundation for creating this more rugged appearance. The rectangular grill features larger air intakes and larger daytime running lights. The powerful and technical shapes of the lower fascia establish a wide stance while completing the planted aesthetic. Ooh, I like that the vehicle here. featured here is the Santa Cruz XRT. XRT raises the bar for adventure with uniquely designed front and rear fascia that provide both greater outdoor capability and a more rugged, protected appearance. With XRT, we've increased the approach angle for improved off-road performance. Good. The rear bumper is now taller and beefier at the corners to provide more protection. This increased protection matches the door and fender cladding. The coral red front tow hooks add a cool look, but most importantly, additional capability. And to get you out there and back, XRT now features all-terrain tires and unique wrench-inspired alloy mm -hmm. wheels. Wrench Inside wheels. the 2025 Santa Cruz, you'll discover many of the technology, design, and ergonomic advances found in the new Tucson. Nice. Small changes that make a Traditional big difference. Here. The new Knobs interior everywhere. provides a modern command center for your adventure. And yes, we've brought back knobs and switches in yes. Santa Cruz too. Santa Cruz also gets most of the advanced safety features found in the new Tucson. With this new design, we've brought more attitude to Santa Cruz with rugged styling and a more distinctive and capable XRT variant. I think I like the That's the, the 2025 Santa Cruz, our sport adventure vehicle. Ready for more. With our 2025 Tucson like and Santa Cruz, the, the we're Santa giving Cruz people new bit. ways to adventure smarter Very with blocky. next level technology, advanced safety, and distinctive design. Importantly, our Tucson is offered with a choice of internal combustion, hybrid, or plug-in powertrains, all available at various price points to provide an accessible step towards electrification. The 2025 models will begin arriving in Hyundai dealerships in time for summer and fall adventures. I'm also pleased to tell you that all of our Santa Cruz models will continue to be assembled at our manufacturing facility in Alabama, alongside the gasoline-powered Tucson models. Speaking of U.S. manufacturing, we are starting an exciting new chapter with our Meta plant now nearing completion in Bryan County, Georgia. This manufacturing complex, which will begin EV assembly later this year, is part of our $12.6 billion investment in Georgia. At full capacity, the Meta plant will employ more than 8,500 people with high-quality manufacturing jobs focused on building a sustainable future. This good. is what we mean by progress for humanity. To find out more about the new Tucson, Santa Cruz, and other Hyundai models, please visit Hyundai.com. Thank you for joining us. Okay, so why do I like the non-XRT better? Well, I wish I got the hooks on the non-XRT, but notice how the XRT has all this additional plastic here at the bottom of the door. I don't think that's a good touch. That's just not what I like. And notice that these uh, more rugged arches go higher onto the fender than they do in uh, the non-XRT. Let me know what you guys think. Would you, do you prefer the paint, the paint match sides, or this blocky plastic here on the side that says Santa Cruz? 
I mean, I would take either of them. Don't get me wrong. I think they're both cool trucks. All right, XRT interior, all blacked out. No surprises like that on the Santa Fe. Uh, keep the traditional shifter. They bring in the knobs. Heck yeah, it's still touch capacitive here, but I can live with this because, guys, look at that. Look at that knob. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Can't take that seriously. Dual 12 inch screens, uh, no Hyundai logo, the four dots here for Hyundai and Morse code. Uh, and just like the Santa Fe as well, everything is very horizontal here. Um, and we have a speaker at the edge of the screen to kind of, you know, go with the cohesive design. Den Helsinki Control 360 camera, center different control lock, all that good stuff. Their new combo USB C chargers are awesome. Hyundai Pay, which I don't know if anyone really cares about that, but if you do need it for parking, I guess it's convenient. That lockable tonneau cover, it's pretty neat. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look that much different, but this front end, I like it. This blockier front end makes it more macho. It makes it look better. This is something Honda or Honda can learn for the ridge line. The ridge line, however, just, oh gosh, I don't, don't get me started on the ridge line. It's just me getting me myself started, but... What do you guys think of the new Santa Cruz? Uh, lots of pictures here, tons of pictures. My goodness. Uh, there's the turbo model. There's a, uh, or uh, you know, the two and a half turbo. This is the 12 inch screen here with the different drive modes, a, a close up of the climate control panel. Back seat is really small on this thing, but hey, it's small on body on frame, mid size pickup trucks too. Uh, we're no longer looking at the S uh, XRT. This is more of the standard model. This has the finger fingerprint scanner like the Santa Fe does. So this must be the limited. That's it. That's all my Santa cruise pictures. I mean, the front end looks so similar. The biggest differences are going to be the daytime running lights. They're wider and bigger as they go down. Um, and then this bottom portion is taken straight out of the new uh, Sonata refresh, the bottom portion of the grill or bumper, whatever you want to call it. The side looks identical to me. Um, the interior looks just like the Santa Fe. Do we get oh, Kia starting? They're starting up already. So maybe we'll revisit that here in a little bit. But it's a big deal. There's a drive. I guess I'll put this back up until we get something substantial from Kia here. This is, we're looking at uh, the plug in hybrid here with the EV HEV button. Plug in hybrid, we have a nice uh, little shelf here on the dash. There's the part instead of the shifter like we saw in the Santa. Santa Cruz, we have the shifter as like a column shifter, like we saw on the Santa Fe as well as the Ionic vehicles and the new Kona as well. It looks great. I I think they made it better. Not that it was bad to begin with. The plug-in hybrid's a tough sell um, over the standard hybrid, in my opinion. The standard hybrid on this is just so good. And it's, it's priced really nicely. The plug-in hybrid just gets really expensive and it doesn't offer any more performance. It offers a little bit more power, but it's a lot heavier. So it, yeah, it's not as good in the turns either. Look at this, look at this dual tip on the hybrid. Love that, looking good. Front end, it's okay. New wheel design as well on the inline here, inline interior, kind of cloth seats, red stitching. It is what it is, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, this might be the limited model. Ooh, I like those light gray seats. But do you think Hyundai did enough with the new Santa Cruz as well as the new Tucson redesign or refreshes, I should say, not technically redesigns, interior smashing home run. They got rid of all the touch capacitive, not all the touch capacitive, but most of it. They brought back rotary dials for the volume tuning knobs and climate control knobs, better screen implementation, better safety. They cleaned up this whole area as well here on the Tucson. I think they've done enough to keep the Tucson uh, really, really strong. They made the front end just a hair bit better. Most people are not gonna be able to tell the difference. And I think Hyundai wanted to keep its identity with this, with this design alive with the cascading lights. And for the Santa Cruz, well done Hyundai with the design. It looks more macho and now stands apart from the Tucson, which in the past is kind of hard to tell the difference from the two up front. Um, the XRT has a matte finish with the hooks and then this, you know, more upscale, I think this is a limited grade, has the, the more cro chrome or polished look uh, with chrome across the front, it looks like. Typically, I hate chrome, but it looks pretty good here. Um, and yeah, I think they did enough here. I wish, I wish it would have came with hybrid powertrain to give the little Maverick at least some competition here. 
but they decided not to. Maybe they're waiting until they have a better hybrid for a pickup truck. It's hard to say why. Now, this is an interesting thing as well. The XRT has 360 camera in which the new Santa Fe XRT, which is also very capable off-road uh, and has the same powertrain as this, it does not have the 360 camera. But man, it looks awesome from up front. Really, really happy uh, with the design of it. And also you guys down in the comments below, make sure to watch my live stream. It was so much fun to hang out with you guys for the reveal of these two Hyundai products as well as the Kia K4 uh, with the new hatchback there. It's awesome. So I got to shut down. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.